Welcome to episode 11 of Daniel's Commentaries for System Shock 2. But we have a very special episode today, 16 minutes long. That's right, 60% more of me! Hope you enjoy. Here we go, on our way to the third environmental stabilizer. And there's a camera right at the end of the hallway. But if you go through the door, it can't see you because you're too far away. Which is impossible for a camera because it should be able to see you no matter how far away you are. We're talking about a hallway. It's not the length of a football field. It should be able to see me. Too bad I can destroy it before it can. I would also like to mention that this episode is brought to you by Wolfie Brandon. Because without his help, you probably wouldn't be getting this episode right now. So thanks, man. You've been a lot of help. And I probably won't have the problem now because of you. You rock. <sighs> Another guy that carried cigarettes on him. That was probably what got him, since it doesn't look like he was eaten alive by anything yet. Even the worms wouldn't have eaten him. And it looked like this woman died while carrying a vente tazo chai latte from Starbucks. Cool. Didn't think they'd have Starbucks even in this time. Shame she couldn't enjoy it all, though. Oh, and a quick tip about some secret uh, cyber modules in this room. There's, um an open gap in the wall up here. If you jump and click, you should be able to reach the three cyber modules that are in there. Very handy. Once again, it's more of these. There are two of them in this area, which is why I am not using my wrench to destroy them. Actually, there are two of them and two security cameras, which is the main reason. But still, if it was just one, I would so go in there. Once I tried to take them both out with a wrench, I got one, blew up, damaged me, got rid of the other one, there are two cyber midwives there because of the security alarm was activated. And I made sure never to make that mistake again. Looks like the two people here experienced exactly what I experienced back then and got their asses kicked. Oh, hey, when you gotta go, you gotta go. And here we are, the best standard weapon in the game. A semi-automatic assault rifle. Okay, well, actually, there's a setting for full auto, but still. It uses handgun rounds and is very powerful downside is, you need to have a standard of six, which I don't have right now. But I'm going to be going right back here once I do, because I'm not wasting space in my inventory to carry two weapons that use up the same ammo. One thing I'd like to mention about the hydroponics bay is that they only seem to grow one kind of plant, and it doesn't look like it's edible. Are you telling me you're sustaining an entire spaceship with these weird piles of leaves. Why do you go so slowly? Do you think this is some kind of game? If only luck and my continued forbearance that you are even alive. Now move. Actually, Polito, yes. This is a game. And I'm commenting on it. So deal with it! I really don't want to deal with this guy right now. To 
tell you the truth, this is the one part of hydroponics that I despise. Especially the part at the end of this corridor, because there are too many enemies and it's worthless to waste ammunition and health. I just get rid of the cyber midwife, alter the environmental controls, and then run out. Because it's a waste of health and ammunition and nanites to do anything else there. Now, it's time to RUN AWAY! Also, at the beginning of this part of hydroponics, you will find a shotgun hybrid right in the room where you entered. This is, of course, one of Sergeant Bronson's uh, soldiers from the ops deck. And once you uh, beat her, you actually find a log on her. She's describing the mutation. She's becoming less and less human. I really wish this happened more often in the game, because I'm just fighting faceless opponents. What do you know? Bronson was right after all. I imagine I've got about an hour that I'm tracking the, the transformations in the hope that the data might be useful to someone else. There are tumors on my leg and back. I can feel that thing inside me growing fat. My theory is they need a living host to complete the transformation. Screw Diego, screw... And screw Halo 3! I'm so gonna get hate mail from Halo 3 fanboys. I can just hear it clogging up my MSN email inbox. Also, right up here above us is where that secret passage that I showed you guys in episode 10. This is where it is above us. And you can see just by looking up. I'm gonna have to get a, a lot more med hypos. And there's no such thing as too many when it comes to having med hypos. Trust me. Wait till you get to body of the many. Oh, it's wrench time again. Another midwife. One of the two midwives I have to fight before I can finally get out of this deck. That's right, after this one there's only one left. Shame there's no storyline attached to that, it would have been really interesting.